So hello everyone, this is Rupesh and I'm watching CPPNerds video series on C++ 14 feature list and in this video we'll be looking into this binary literals. So yes, long wait is over. Now we have binary literals. Before we had octal, hexadecimal, integer literals. Now you can actually write a binary literal. GCC compiler had this feature but not as standardized. Now C++11 has standardized it and it is available in C++ now, okay? Not in GCC or some specific compiler. And what is the syntax for binary literals? You can write it like this. 0 followed with B. It can be 0B, I mean small b or 0 capital B. Doesn't matter. And then the binary number, actual binary number, 0 and 1s. Okay, before if we had to write this 4 times 1, then we'll be writing 0 cross ff, right? And we'll be writing some comment like, okay, this is representing a binary number, this one. But no more comments, you will actually write the binary in your program now. I know this is very small modification, I mean feature, but it is really very good when it comes to the low level programming. And one more thing, yesterday we saw one video where I explained digit separators, right? Like if you want to write 1 million, so this is 1 million, then you can actually separate the digits using this single count. Yesterday we saw that and that is the first video of this video series. So that digit separator can be used with this binary literals also. So if you want to use or write this 0b, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. So you can actually use this separator to separate your binary digits. So let's quickly run this program and conclude this video. So this is telling you that how you used to write this binary number using this syntax, but now you can write the same binary number itself. Okay, so let's quickly compile this and so if I will compile this, See, it got compiled and actually you should use this C++14 instead of C++11. Actually it is working, but let me tell you that it is actually included in C++14, but GCC had this already, but we should include C++14 to compile this. So it have compiled successfully. Now execute this. See, 255, 255. So both are 255. So let's look at the next video, which is about the deprecated keyword in C++14. Yes, that's totally new in C++. So let's move to the next video now.